Now, we begin. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Serpent back with game number six of Climbing with York, and we are gonna win this game, Dead Gummit. I'm not losing another one, okay? Which I think actually brings up a good point of like what what's kind of the expectation of like win rate. Um, I think if I end the 100 games with like a 65 to 70 percent win rate, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I'm not the most proficient on York yet, and my best solo queue performance on the first 100 games of the Lowey was 75 percent, and I got the Masters with that. So if I can get you know 65 to 70 percent, I think I'm pretty happy with that. Anything above that would be just kind of gravy. Obviously, my goal would be 100% win rate, right? but it, it's very important to realize it's not, like, really that practical of a goal. Um, a better goal would be, you know, focus on, like, what I can do, and if I play optimally every game, like, what what can we be, achie what's achievable? And again, anytime you see, like, uh, like really high elo players with, like, crazy high win rates, it's typically because they, they do okay with another challenger level player. Which isn't that surprising, right? If you have two challenge level players in your smurfing, it should be a pretty What's one more grade? And the mist would take me. Thank you. That's okay, we got a splash. I mean that's a really quick gank, and with the lane frozen. Um, and, and set doesn't have flash anymore. It makes like, game, the rest of the laning phase really awkward on set. Now, of course, his passive region will likely kill him up quite significantly, which is like you know really fun for a resourceless champion um, to just be able to regenerate a lot of his health uh, even quicker than like Garen can. But as I say in showbiz, it is what it is. I don't have to actually say that in showbiz, but. In every trade we take like this, sure, we're not getting a kill. We see Jukok at the bot, actually. The reason I didn't really full commit is because it's unlikely we get too much without, um, you know, running into, like, a... Like, last game was a great example where I kept overextending and I kept running into Hecarim. And I just... There's really no need. I mean, this is a winning proposition. To delay the end. Keep playing like this. Yeah, this is just a win. Right? Really good job. And that's all because of you. Honestly, that's partially because of my wave positioning. It's also because of York uh, or uh, Warwick uh, coming on top. Helping me out. Thought I was going to get a teleport out of him. There it is. Wait. That's the wrong one. Obviously, I want to be a little bit careful here, not to die. An enemy has been slain. A profane sacrament. I shall perform your right. Double kill. Yeah, we'll reset. Yeah, so Warwick's like kind of smurfing right now. I mean, he's doing a really good the job. Great game top into a great game bottom. That's that's beautiful. We love it. Cool, cool, cool. Cho'Gath here. Oh, he also stole red buff. So Cho'Gath got uh, screwed there as well. I'm a big, I'm a big fan of Trinity Force. Material items. For the material we'll make sure we buy pink wards. We'll be uh, very uh, disciplined. Tell me Sometimes on my main account, I'm actually not that disciplined. I won't buy pink wards all the time when I should be. So. We're gonna back top. Uh, because this is pushing in, we do have a little bit of time. We've only lost one minion so far, so we wouldn't want to teleport here. But I do want to go see if like Cho'Gath is in our jungle somewhere. The ruined king's allies shall fall. Okay, so he's not in our jungle. It's interesting, so I don't know. He cleared this ward, we saw that, and then he just... I guess went back to his jungle? Kind of a... Interesting thing to do. Unless he's trying to cheese me right now, but I doubt it. And I should just freeze this, I mean... We're kind of waiting for level 6. Um, if I can just deny a lot of minions, we'll take that. I don't want to kill a few of these. There, there's a little bit too many minions. You don't want it to push into you too much or you can't really hold it out of turret range. You want to find that balance of having enough minions to kill all of your minions without um, having to tank like a million minions and lose all your health. And be free.
I did have flash, so I was never really in too much danger, but that was getting a little sus. I'm gonna ward here just in case Shogaf goes around here or something to look for a gank on the man. What's one more grave? Yeah, I was never in too much danger again. It hurts to so I, was, I could always either flash away or kite out and wait for my Q to come back up and then like flash all their Q. Just having that flash advantage is really vital. I could have also flash shot just the uh, W damage, but I didn't think it was going to do that much damage to me. But it, it didn't. It chunked me. Wowie. That is a um, very quick back to lane. That, uh, the, um, the movement suit you get when you die. Home guards. Ooh, that really helped. Yeah. I don't think I'll lose another plate. I wanted to get two plates there, but he came back to lane so quick. I decided it's better just to get out. Get six? Oh, he doesn't get six off that. It's kind of unlucky. Oh, we have a really neat um, mid jungle synergy here. By that, I mean uh, suppressions on your suppression. You can suppression when you're suppressing. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's very good for me to like bother rotating. Probably just could catch this wave. Maybe try to kill um, this guy one more time. That's just bad. Come on, please! No, I thought for sure they would get one more jump in. Oh, well. On the bright side, set should have to reset. I can't imagine he stays. Probably should have just saved my flash. No matter how you Sometimes you gotta risk it for the disc, yeah. I suspect Chogak should be topside after that death to um, Warwick and Malzahar. So I do want to be a little bit careful. I do see mid on the map, which is good. One more Remember my leave here. I suspect Chogath and... Um, Set will be back soon. I hope I don't lose the plate. Oh, I might actually lose the plate. I don't have. See, if I flash, I could, I could save for that plate. Safe plate. Wait, maybe he'll just kill the minions for me. Yo, would you mind killing those minions for me? A little bit quicker. Just a, just a little bit quicker. Okay, thank you. Whew. Worried there for a second. And and some people would ask in this like kind of game, like, okay, you're not using teleport at all. Like, why aren't you? Why why? Why even have teleport at all? Well, for one, there is a threat of teleport, right? And just because of this game, you're not I'm not using it because every time I backed, it's made sense just to run top. I mean, I lost two melee minions here, so why would I use teleport? But there is value in the option of something. Um, so having the option of teleporting bot at any given moment is very... is is There's a value to that. And at no point in this game has it been worth to teleport top and lose that option. So... Just by the nature of like not using something doesn't mean that there's not value inherent in that uh thing. Let's see if we can cover here actually. Watch that. Woo! See? That's what I'm talking about, right? Wasn't that much better than like any of the teleports I could have used? And we get bot plates. And that is the value of having the option to do something. So that, so so, if you can push in the top wave and then just reset and just lose like a couple melee minions, you should just do that. Because a teleport is worth more than three melee minions. It just is. Let me actually take this. Beautiful. We are fed. Hopefully Jin doesn't stop my back here with W. Please. Thank you. Nice. Um, what do I want next? 
I've been I've been enjoying lucidity boots. I could go like I could if set or Jen were fed, I could definitely go um ninja tabbies, but they're just they're both so far behind those are, it doesn't really feel like warranted to like build it. I could get something like CDR boots to give me better more ults when when a maiden dies, or I could like flash more often or you know. Kind of have that utility? Dang it. What's one more grave? On level eight and nine, you should get W. By the way, on level nine, you don't go. A, you don't. You don't get your final point in Q yet, because um, that extra point W, where it gives that one extra health to W, is, is really, really impactful. All right, we see Chogath on the map. We don't see mid, but yeah, it's likely. He's, I think Akali is coming up here. It's kind of awkward. Oh nope, she's not. I love when Krugs are aligned. I love it. Yeah, much cleaner game than the last two. The last two games we had, like I, I wasn't clean. Um, and y'all saw that. And I, I, I think I vocalized, vocalized pretty well the mistakes I was making. Um, and last game, I, I don't think there's really like. You are so silly. That's it. All right, you got me there, Buster Brown. This never ends. No way, Jose. Okay, they're incredibly fortunate. Please just focus the right person. Um. Wow! Dang. Everyone dying with just uh, a little bit of health, just a little sliver, a little, Your a little bit. Has destroyed a turret. Hmm. There's probably a way I killed Cho'Gath there. If I kill Cho'Gath, maybe if I get red buff. Maybe stone balls into me killing everyone, but that's okay. We did get mid turret. So, not all was lost, but definitely a morale killer. Jeez. Looks like Seth's gonna overstay here. Water for the living. Shovel. Hmm, I don't know about that. Nice, good job. Um, Trish should really go mid, but. Gonna take my farm, how dare she? An enemy has been slain. Oh, you probably get tier two. Eh, I'll go mid. It's just farm mid. I mean, I'm not gonna let that get away. We also see their jungle is like respawning, so we should probably get little ghouls and go farm their jungles and chug out this bot right now. Never miss. Never ever miss. You are beyond saving. Um, okay. We'll start with our cards and then take uh, their cards as well. Let's go ahead and spawn this. Hey, Triss, don't take my chickens. Those are mine. I want those. Yeah, I mean, we're going to punish you got the really big time here. Oh, okay. Ooh, I don't know about that, yo. This is a very uh, volatile play, but we'll go for it. We all end the same. Oh, there's not there. Yep. Beautifully. Take it. Beautiful. Oh. Oh, we love to see it. The double suppression. Take out two champs. No big deal. Can't get this. They can go Drake. I want to farm topside. I really want to get this top topside jungle. And if they don't need me at Drake, then I really shouldn't be at Drake. I don't think they need me. It's just better to farm this stuff. 
Ooh, get a gank top line here. I do not know what lies beyond. But it is better than this. I'm just bad. I'm just a bad player. Unbelievable in this study. I'm a little bit afraid of Akali. Akali has been, um... Oh, nope, she's bot side. See, I don't really want you to farm these. I really would rather you not farm these, actually. I want to farm these. And if you're farming them, I don't get to farm them. And that makes me upset. Let's go. Good job, Triss. You might be wondering why I haven't taken a, why I don't take risks very early, and a lot of people, especially, um, especially low elo players, I would say, like to take risks like very often. Um, the thing you have to remember is taking rift is a pretty big time sink, and if you don't have any, it's really one of those things. Like if you don't have anything else to do, like go for it. But you know, if I can farm their jungle, if I can farm our jungle, if I can farm top, like if I can farm mid lane, if I can get kills, like those are all usually just more efficient. Um, not more fish, more luxurious. Because what you want is you really want to keep like all these farms on cooldown. Like you want them to keep respawning so they respawn quicker and you just get more. Okay, Maiden? Come back to me, Maiden. I'm surprised Maiden doesn't come with me. Isn't she supposed to normally? What was that about? Do this. What hell is worse than this limbo? I really want Maiden to be healed. Come on, Maiden. I don't even mind using teleport top. Because uh, look at the waves right now. I mean, they're push, 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 and I can maybe go farm red if it's up. To the dying. And I have a um, rift, so. Stop doing that! Please! Alright, they just all moved towards top, so I want to be a little bit careful here. I want to be careful. Maybe not the best drift there. Ever. Stop. Why are you so fast? Oh my goodness. Oh, get that out. Alright, whatever. It's not a big deal because they commit three tops and they're being able to push mid and bot out. And then I can just kind of wait and then they're going to have to react to that and then I um, then I do my own push. So it's kind of, there's a, like an even flow to it, you know? So you, now you see them rotating and now when they rotate the fight, I'll just take this stuff to the top. We just keep kind of kind of bouncing around, and what it does is it creates so much like pressure that we end up just getting everything right because they don't, they never fully commit to any of the single lanes. And what they really need to do is like I mean to be fair they kind of tried to like choke out tried to or when he tried to just jump on man. Nice. Um, these games I've noticed are very like, very uh, very team death. Like, yeah, it, it, these are very one-sided matches. Now we are in provisional games, so pretty much everyone in these games have like less than ten games typically played. Um, that's just kind of how they treat uh like provisional games and provisional accounts. I'm like an honor for it. I'm being worried about that blue bus. Right, let's see how we did. Yeah, top damage, really good job. Yeah, GG will play. That's a good uh thank 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 you for a win. Yorick the shovel man. We needed one. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time.